On the 27th of February 1933, the Reichstag building was set on fire. The Reichstag was the German parliament. The Reichstag was on fire by, allegedly, by a Dutch communist called Van der Lubbe. He was caught at the scene um, with some matches and uh, had later confessed to the crime. The Nazi party used the fire to their advantage. They were able to claim that the fire was a communist threat, uh, uprising and a threat to the, to the German government and stability of the country. Hitler went to Hindenburg and asked for an emergency decree, as this was a state of an emergency, and he used his power to arrest 4,000 communists, allegedly as they were a threat. However, uh, this really was quite suspicious due to the timing of the fire. It occurred a month before elections. So some historians argue that Hitler had set fire to the Reichstag himself. We actually don't know for sure who did. Either way, Hitler exploited the situation to get rid of his biggest rivals, the communists. As 4,000 of them were arrested, imprisoned without trial, it, the emergency decree also gave Hitler the power to um, confiscate property as well. As a result of the Reichstag fire, not only was Hitler able to get rid of his biggest rivals, the communists, he also was able to increase his power, as the communists could not take up their 81 seats in the Reichstag. As the communists and the Nazis were both extremist parties, this often led to more power for the Nazi party. In fact, following the Reichstag fire, the Nazi party received the largest number of votes it ever had. Hitler appeared as Germany's saviour in a time of national chaos. The fact that the communists could not take up their seats in the Reichstag also helped Hitler pass the Enabling Act. This act gave Hitler the power to make, four, to, to make laws for four years without consent of the Reichstag. The communists were sure to vote against this, but the fact that they were arrested due to the emergency decree meant they couldn't, making it easier for Hitler to pass the act. Hitler uh, passed the Enabling Act and he used this act to, to gain more power. He passed it as the communists were not allowed to take up their seats. He had SA members surrounding the Reichstag intimidating people so that they would vote. And he also made a deal with the Centre Party, which was the Catholic Party, enabling him to get the votes he needed, the two-thirds majority, to pass the act. Following the Enabling Act, as Hitler was technically now unable, um, able to be a dictator, legally, he banned all trade unions. This was important as they were likely to go on strike, so it limited any potential problems that may cause him in government. He closed all state parliaments, which meant government was now centralised, coming directly from him, rather than local areas. Perhaps most importantly, he banned all other political parties. This meant there could be no vocal opposition to Hitler's policies in the Reichstag. It also meant there was no legal alternative to him. This greatly increased his power, enabling him to have the powers of a dictator.